Hey guys, welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews as well as Quirk Automotive. Today we have the 2020 Kia Sorento SX All Wheel Drive. This is an awesome SUV. With the Telluride that's a little bit bigger than this, I was like, oh, try out the Sorento and see what it's like. And it is good. So this is the top of the line trim. You have a V6 under the hood. Uh, pretty much every option you can get this car has. It's finished beautifully in black over black with these amazing alloy rims. There is a ton of space out back. Everything's finished nicely in leather and you do have the third row back there. You also have panoramic sunroof, which is great. Now the Sorento is for somebody who needs a three-row SUV, but doesn't like the Telluride, or the Telluride's a little bit too big for them, that's where the Sorento slots itself in. You still have that third row if you need it in a pinch, uh, but you have this, the smaller, smaller vehicle size. As you can see, nice rear seats. The Telluride has a little bit more space back there, but so this one stickers for 43030 and as I said it is the top of the line one uh, this SX all-wheel drive is your top trim you do have Harman Kardon sound you have a analog RPM gauge and temp fuel gauge with a digital center display with your speed To start, foot on the brake, push the button. You do have your camera that has multiple modes. You can select full front view, front with your blind spot or forward blind spot front with the rear and you can see it is real up to date. It's really really kind of cool. Do have multiple different drive modes, Eco, Sport, Smart, Comfort. Um, I keep it in Sport for the videos. I love the seats, really really well bolstered. Kia did a soup superb job with this vehicle. Steering wheel is right out of the Telluride, which is wonderful. I, I love the steering wheel in there. Everything you touch has a very, very pretty, like even up here, you can see it's squishy. Everything has a super premium feeling to it. So the V6 under the hood is a 3.3 liter naturally aspirated unit. I believe it's the same block out of the Stinger just without the turbos. Um, I'm not asking for more power, it has plenty of torque, plenty of power for your day to day usage of the vehicle. It's awesome. Visibility is excellent given the size of the vehicle. You do have your blind spot monitoring, you have lane keep assist. It's actually steering itself in the lane.
brake pedal is very progressive. It's really, really nice to use. Nice Mustang. Transmission shifts smoothly. Wonderful unit. It sounds really good. That's what I was surprised at. The sound of it. It sounds killer. It has a great V6 exhaust note. Ton of induction noise. It's really, really fun. Given the size of the vehicle, it fits perfectly onto the road. It doesn't feel like it's too big. Um, it's really, really nice to drive. I. I'm thoroughly impressed with this car. Um, I have no complaints at all with it. It's a really, really nice car, a great family car for you know somebody who wants a little bit of a bigger car via the Sportage. This is your next in line. If you don't want the uh, Sedona, which is our minivan, uh, you can go for this. So you have an SUV that's the same size as the Sedona. Really, really smart branding on Kia's aspect. They have a car for every need. Uh, the only thing they need is a two-door sports car. Let's see if they make that. But yeah, this is an excellent car. Um, I have no complaints, especially sub-50,000 you know, for a luxury SUV like this. That's, that's really, really nice. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Please stay tuned for more content, and have a great day.